Hello, today we are going to talk about the course ITIL and the topic is problem management. Let me just brief you a bit about ITIL. ITIL means Information Technology Infrastructure Library. It is a set of practices for IT service management that focuses on aligning IT services with the needs of business. Problem management is a part of ITIL. The goal of problem management is to minimize the adverse impact of incidents and problems on the business that are caused by the errors within the IT infrastructure and to prevent reoccurrence of incidents related to the errors. In order to achieve the goals, problem management seeks to find the root cause of problems and to initiate corrective action, permanently reduce number and severity of incidents and problems by identifying improvements and the infrastructure. That can be done in two steps. Identify and solve problems in response to one or more incidents and analyze trends of incidents and identify and solve problems before they occur. The problem guidelines are, there is no time SLA target associated with problem resolution. Resolution of the root cause of the problem may take hours or day or even years. Problems do not need prior approvals to be worked and resolved. They only need to be prioritized to work the most critical problems first. If it appears that root cause identification and resolution are not readily apparent and the impact is medium or high, effort should be focused first on providing a suitable documented workaround. The roles are OSF, ISD, Cell Service Desk and Quality Assurance, Service Provider Group and Problem Reporter. The problem policies are, problem must be logged with the service desk before they are worked. There is no SLA target date connected to problem resolution. If a work around for the problem has been discovered, it should be provided to the service desk and logged into CRM. The scope of problem management is, problem control, error control and proactive problem management are all within the scope of the problem management process. Problem control handles problems in an effective way, identify root cause and provide the service desk with information and workaround, similar to incident control but more carefully managed to avoid reoccurrence. Error control progresses from known errors until elimination by implementation of a change. Proactive problem management analyzes of trends from incident, records, provides view on potential problems before they occur. Activities are of different kinds. They are problem control, error control, and proactive problem management. Proactive problem management activities are concerned with identifying and resolving problems and known errors before incidents occur, thus minimizing the adverse impact on the service and business related costs. They can be of three types. It is trend analyst, targeting support action and providing information to organization. The benefits are, the benefits of taking a formal approach to problem management are improved IT service quality, that is removal of structure errors improves quality of service, incident volume reduction, that is structure errors generating incidents are removed, permanent solutions, problems are solved, and stay resolved, improved knowledge or organization, problem management learns from the past experience using historical data to identify trends, higher first call resolution rate at self desk, problem management creates incident workaround data for a rapid incident closure. The risks are simultaneous assignments of support agents to incidents and problem management, Less common tools of the individual departments, insufficient communication between system development and problem management in regard to known errors, lack of discipline in the support team. Thank you.